Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ilyas and this is your 45th tutorial. And in the last tutorials, or the last tutorial, which was the 45th, the 44th, I mean, we had this uh, get request, which works very simple. It just um, accesses the sample.html file and Ajax runs this function when the, when the request is done and it sends this data to us, to, to the front end, and we can work with it and stuff. So we can just load this HTML content and, and, and everything. But, um, well, this get request is actually very simple, and, uh, well, this is the, the simplest request we can ever make using um, uh, using jQuery. Well, actually, the, the simplest request would be just accessing it like, like this, but it won't make sense, so we just open this document to the server and nothing happens, which doesn't make sense. And, um, you know, Ajax is actually our interactivity between the uh, front and between like the client and server. So, uh, and it also requires a server site. Well, in the last 44 tutorials, we didn't write any server side code. And uh, I'll be writing some code in PHP in the next tutorials, but you don't have to be afraid. So you don't have to actually learn this PHP stuff because this tutorial uh, this tutorial is on jQuery. But anyway, for you to know that every Ajax application also requires uh, lots of uh, server side code. So let's just imagine you, you are a front developer uh, and I'm a server side programmer, a PHP programmer, and our boss says like, "Hey, Ilyas, go ahead and do the server side stuff." And uh, for example, your name is Nick. And Nick, go ahead and uh, create a nice user interface and an Ajax request which will communicate with uh, server.php or something. Well, anyway, uh, I came up with an idea of uh, creating an Ajax login or something like that. Well, uh, the reason why I decided to do this um, the thing because, you know, I, I think this is the best way how to uh, learn more about Ajax and how it works with the server and stuff. So uh, let's just uh, go ahead and get rid of this code which we wrote in the previous tutorial. And we also need a login box, of course. So I'll just create a div element around this button. And we don't need uh, this text anymore. I'll just rename it to sign in. And this is going to be Hold on, I did a mess. This is going to be our login box, and I'll also set its ID to be login box. So let me style it real quick, do some CSS. Um, login box with like 240 pixels, height a little bit like this, and make sure it's centered, and make sure it's a little bit in the center, in the middle of the page, in terms of the height, so margin, top, well I'm actually right now very lazy so I'm not going to uh, make it perfect, but anyway, we have this login box but we don't have a um, text box for it, so uh, in input type equals text, placeholder I don't know, your username and another input for the password. Your password. So, and I'll set its ID to be username and this ID to be password. Password, like this. So, let's see, let's see what we get. So we have the simple form, but let me let me just uh, add a new line break after uh, the second text box. Well, it doesn't look perfect, but um, well, it's enough for our tutorial. So uh, I won't make in this tutorial anymore, unfortunately. But I already announced that we are going to uh, make this jQuery login stuff uh, using Ajax. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial, and I hope you would watch the next tutorial right away after you close this tutorial.